Yeah, I also always try to figure out who I am and more on a level of I try to figure out my data like I wanted to make sense of why I felt in some situation a certain way and in another situation another way like why did I feel like with these certain people I felt more shy and with others I don't feel shy as well uh, at all and I couldn't figure it out that was one example of why I feel happy on that day or sad on that day so I always try to figure out um, more is it the fault of the people I'm, I need to always go just be with those kind of people because they I feel more relaxed with them I don't feel like that and I try to figure it all out analyze everything about myself why it's like that and oh so hard work and then I came to this training and just was invited to relax completely not needing to figure out because data are unpredictable sometimes we feel like that sometimes we feel like that and it's like there's the nature of all data they arise they hang out a while and then they self-release all data the nature of all data we don't need to do anything with our data to to disappear or to change to make them positive or negative nothing we allow them to be as they are and in that we just more and more become comfortable within all data streams. Get comfortable with the uncomfortability of, of situation. Comfortable with feeling more shy with some people. Comfortable with feeling not shy at all. Or, you know, like all these kinds of things. Comfortable with being sad. Comfortable with being happy. So more and more we become comfortable and easeful with all data streams. Without needing to change anything in our experience. And that's so brilliant because that makes it really effortless. I had I used all my energy basically, and I had a really kind of happy life before I came to Balance View, I would say. But I was constantly trying to manage my data stream, constantly trying to feel good, and trying to rearrange. I replaced a lot of negative data with positive thinking, and you know, like trying to really. Um, have good thoughts and tried everything uh, that, but that all that energy that I put into that and I, like, I, I was just so focused on myself basically I couldn't focus on the benefit of all or have energy for you know other things you know like or to, to be of benefit that wasn't on the radar because I was so needing to keep everything in place you know like and then it pops up here you know like it's hitting you know this game where you always have to hit something <laughs> that's, how, that's how I felt and suddenly I don't need to do anything they can pop up wherever you know and I just relax completely and no need to press anything down anymore oh so relaxing and and that's basically through taking short moments whenever we naturally remember to do so whenever a thought emotion comes up we just allow it to be as it is relaxing completely stopping the describing of the thought why why am I now sad why do I have the um, sadness come up is it because of something happened before or it's the fault of that person Allowing it to be as it is, sadness arising, hanging out and self-releasing. And then we see more and more the power within all data streams. Because suddenly we have so much energy that, that is just freely available to be of benefit, to see clearly. Because we are not anymore focused on that, but we see everything clearly, even things popping up. In the, it's like being, things popping up in the background, it doesn't affect us anymore. Data streams don't affect our relating anymore they, they still appear obviously we will not never have no data anymore I mean that's what I wished when I came here I don't want these kind of data anymore that's please take them away from me and that's it but what I found is actually data stream will always be then in fact sometimes I had even more data stream suddenly I felt sadness and more, more depressive data streams that I used to just keep at bay suddenly they were arising because I allowed them to be as they are so I, I didn't find that very amusing in the beginning because I didn't want them. But then I said, oh wow, that's where the power is, to allow also those to be as they are. To really experience the total human experience of everything as it is. Even the negative data streams. We have to face the negative to recognize them as open intelligence. So when they come up, we have a complete support network of the Four Mainstays that will support us to allow them to be as they are. Now I'm so grateful that I can allow negative data to be as they are. It's, it's the most, oh, it's so brilliant because 
I'm not afraid of these data streams anymore. I don't need to keep them at, at, in place. They can arise as they are and, and, and then seeing clearly what action to take to be of most benefit to myself and others. That's the, the thing that opens up complete clarity in every moment because no more sidetracked of data stream. You know, sometimes data streams come up like a data stream and it sucks us into the story like a vacuum cleaner, you know, like it goes so fast. Sometimes they're like, oh, but through open intelligence and the practice of open intelligence, more and more we are not getting sucked in the data stream anymore. We see the data stream for what they are, inseparable of open intelligence and nothing else. All the description just naturally subside as well. All the stories, like, like the fan, when we, when we stop the fan, you know, we take the power off, it will, it will spin for a while, but it spins itself out. That's what I recognize with the data. When I stop feeding the story, it might spin for a little while, but it just naturally spins itself out. I don't need to do anything with that. And so with all my data streams that I also perceived as like some issue that I needed to work on, just naturally, nothing needs to be worked on anymore. We are perfect as we are, already perfect, perfect human beings. Just getting to know ourselves in that perfection with every data stream for the short moments, repeated many times. And, and then it became also so easeful with relating with other people because taking responsibility for our data stream that come up in relationship with others, suddenly, wow, it doesn't matter anymore if the other person is open or present or whatever we will label him. It, our openness doesn't depend on anyone else. And then it, that was so relaxing that then the other person didn't need to be a certain way for my well-being to be ensured. So I could be a completely open, no matter if the person was open or not. And just be there and seeing what supports that situation. And then I could really be true open and, and, and at ease and, and, and seeing what, what is needed. So it's, it's really powerful, allowing ourselves to really um, open up in that way more and more. Where nothing needs to be in a certain place or a certain way for for myself to feel open and re recognize open intelligence. Every circumstance we are in is a perfect training ground to train up open intelligence. So we don't need to be in a specific place, specific country, specific posture or whatever it might be. We can practice everywhere. So, like the, that's, that's the brilliant, the short moments we can take everywhere we go. But no matter what job we are doing, no matter what we are involved with, Taking short moments, we can do it all the time. While speaking with people, while doing this, that. And so we can test it out in our experience so perfectly today also. When you walk around in Arambol or meet with friends, take again an, a short moment whenever you naturally remember to do so. Stopping describing the stories for just a short moment and see what, what happens there. Immediately we feel a sense of relief. Maybe it's just for a split second in the beginning. That was for me, just a split second. And then I just repeat it whenever I naturally remember to do so. I repeated it again and then again. And then these short moments just grow longer and longer, just automatically. Because it's our natural state. It's so brilliant, the simplicity of that. It's so beautiful and I feel so lucky. That's what I feel. I feel we are the lucky ones, that we're just stumbled upon this, this training, that's how I feel for myself. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Amazing to have a tool set to really be um, completely powerful and clear in every moment of my life, seeing exactly what will be of most benefit and having the whole support structure to bring that about in my daily life. It's so brilliant. Yeah, I haven't died yet, so I cannot really share my, my experience from, from dying and what is after death. But what I can really share is, from my experience is that the fear of death has really like, um, decreased so much. There's like the, I feel there's a complete preparation for death through this training. There's no, um, I used to be so afraid of what, what will happen after death and had all kinds of ideas and now there's complete relaxation within that as well. And I, I know that ultimately like, this practice will completely support me in my dying process. And that's what I'm so grateful for. I really get prepared for death and get prepared for life through the open intelligence. <coughs> 
so I can really get prepared with, with everything that life throws on me. I have a complete tool, the four mainstays, to really support me in anything of that. And that's just such a relief to grow older like that. Also, I'm so grateful that I have a tool set that I can really um, yeah, face everything that, that comes with, with also aging. I mean, we all start to age. I mean, I can feel also already things happening in my body and, and just being completely at ease with everything and really getting prepared with everything that comes up. And so, um, yeah, where we don't need to fear anything of life any longer. We have the complete tool set to face anything. That doesn't mean that we, not emotions will come up and sadness will come up, grief. I mean, there might, anything will, will come up for sure, but exactly there we have, we have a complete support in letting the, those data to be as they are and empower all data streams so that we can easily die when it's the time for that where we don't need to struggle or fear the data stream that are coming because we've prepared ourselves in every moment, which each short moment we prepare ourselves.